they do have a shopping problem. Alicia's dog has more than 30 outfits. The carpet is filthy. It's Same. from Gross. dogs. Diapers get left out here. Clean or dirty? Both. Ew. There's stuff on the floor. It's from a cat. Cleaning's not fun. Say what now? Lazy. It's a hot mess. And this is Clean House, the show that rescues families from a cluttered home. We pull it all out, sell it at a yard sale, and then match the proceeds up to $1,000. But they don't get to keep that money. We use it for the renovating and decorating. The cleaning, painting, and the organizing is all on us. Now, how do I do all that I do? It's not by myself. There's Trish Sir. She's my yard sale diva. My handsome go-to guy is Matt Eisman. And the designer with all the magic, it's Mark Brunet. Alexis Herrera is a busy accountant, a busy provider. I always buy stuff for everyone else. Plus, a busy mother to 11-year-old Aaron, 22-year-old Alicia, a pharmacist, and 26-year-old Anthony, a city worker. Hey, I was wondering if you could babysit Chelsea for me. And she's busy with her new grandbaby, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea Ray. Who lives here with Anthony's fiance, Heather. I've lived in this house for five years. Our house is really messed up. It's really trashy. As for where all this monstrous clutter came from. Hey. Oh my gosh. What's going on, guys? See all the stuff we got? Alicia and I like to go to garage sales and buy items <laughs> that we don't need. I like to buy things that are on sale. They do have a shopping problem. <laughs> Some more doggy clothes. What's the douche? Alicia's dog has more than 30 outfits. <laughs> I do have a DVD addiction. I will admit it. <laughs> but with so many hands on deck, why isn't this house ship shape? Aaron, those don't go there. It can't go back in my room. I have the leadership role everywhere else in my life. I really don't want to have to have that here in my home. With no captain in command. She's just being the referee right now. No one is cleaning. She really doesn't ask my brother or Heather to do anything. Now that the baby's here, my main focus is on her. I have homework to do, and I don't want to do anything when I get home from school. I kind of just go into my room. Alicia does help me clean, but but it isn't as much as she'd like to think. I'll pick him up later, I promise. She doesn't clean up after her dog. It has an accident on the floor. It just sits there until someone steps on it. But everyone is fighting. We're going to be late. I'm looking for my sweater. The clutter causes a lot of arguments in my home. I know what's in here, so if you would clean up your room, then maybe I could find my clothes. I know we have it. I think it's on the top right. There's like a bajillion movies. But now with Chelsea almost crawling. My niece is too cute to live in such a filthy house. Something must be done about this escalating mess. Clean house, we need you because our family is being held captive by a monster clutter. And the ever increasing stress. I called the show because I love my mom. And I know it hurts her so much that their family always mad at each other. I just want to live as a loving family because that's what my mom deserves. Hello. Hey, people. The Herrera family lives here. A lovely family with horrible clutter. Oh. Take a deep breath. We're going in. <sighs> Love. And I'm Alexis, and we're so happy to have you here. Yay. Come on in. I'm so relieved Nisi and the experts came to our house. We really need their help. Oh, hey. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi. How's it going? Uh -huh. Oh, God, that living room floor. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. OK, who's <laughs> who that just joined the party? Well, I'm Erin. 
I'm Heather. I'm Anthony. I'm engaged to Anthony. That's in, Chelsea's in mom, our new addition. She's four and a half months old. Is she in this clutter somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Hiding. <laughs> in our room. Have you always lived here? You've always lived I've here? I've always lived here. She's been here, what? Five years. Who called the show? I did. I don't like living in this kind of mess. Can I ask how long y'all been living like this? Probably about six years now. What happened six years ago that we got here? I think a lot of us just got busy. Um, my mom always is putting in overtime at her job. I work two jobs now. Everybody works in this house, but nobody works at cleaning up. We've accumulated other people's treasures. How did that happen? Lisa and I like to go garage sale yeah. hunting. Do not give my yard selling people a bad name. Hush. The carpet is filthy. Yeah. It's I mean, it's, it's from gross. the dogs. Do you mean like dog poop? Yes. I am so embarrassed that that poop is there. Oh, I thought Trish was just wearing new perfume. Nobody will pick it up. They'll leave it for me. How many dogs are there? Two. So they belong I to Aaron and Alicia. I can't imagine what Nisi and the experts are thinking. What is keeping you from cleaning up after yourselves? Uh, energy? Well, did you hear that silence? Yeah. <laughs> it was deafening. <laughs> Keeping you from cleaning up uh, after yourself. Is lazy. You're all lazy. <laughs> now I'm surprised that you knew mother, that you would be the one that would say, I have a little baby moving around in all of this and not make some attempts. What's happening with that? She hides in her room. Well, I cleaned our room. All of Chelsea's gifts and diapers all get left out here. Clean or dirty? Both. Ew. The dirty ones are for when you guys babysit. But I would think just from the contribution you're making in helping out with the rent or mortgage payment, no. you'd be able to pay a housekeeper. Just wait, I contribute. Wait, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> you don't pay rent. So y'all are basically freeloading on your mom? <laughs> Technically? Yeah. Dude, you're a father and you're not paying rent and you're living in your mom's house? Clean up. Don't be telling me to clean. You're not my mom. You're the only one paying rent? Yeah, and I'm younger than him. I don't eat any of their food. Oh! <laughs> I'm so glad right now Anthony is standing far from me. <gasps> when I talk about cleaning up the house as a group or a family, Alicia told me, Mom, you know, I help you sometimes, but I don't want to do it. My son doesn't pick up, and he'll tell you that himself. I don't pick up. I don't have time. Cleaning's not fun. No. Oh, is that what it is? This is crazy. I feel mature. We watch you all the time. I even bought totes, and I was doing Trisha's yard sale and put it in the tote if it's staying or going, and now there's Came just jump totes. totes. <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of emotion going on here. Aaron, honey, what's You know, wrong, I can babe? tell. What's happening? I'm just sad because my mom is sad about this. I never realized how the clutter was affecting Erin, and she's feeling all my stress. Even just from a design standpoint, I need to know who I'm talking to. Are we talking to five individual people, or are we talking to one leader and four followers? Mm. I think she's on the bottom. Oh, oh her God. kids are on the top. <laughs> Say what now? She should be the one on top because it is her house, but she doesn't want to be the bad person, so she just kind of gently says and something. You guys and that's take it. advantage of that. I don't want to be the bossy mom that tells everyone what to do and when to do it. That's all I've been, and my kids are wonderful. Okay, so we're on board with mom being the leader yeah. and you four being underneath her. Yeah. I think it is about time that my mom takes charge. Are you on board with it, mother? You know what, you don't need to be putting ideas in my mom's head trying to make her the leader of the pack. Sure, I would love to <laughs> be a leader. <laughs> well, would you? <laughs> Alexis is going to lead this family if it's the last thing I do. Is there more to be seen? Oh, yes. Can I invite Trish and Matt to take a little look-see around? Yes. Is the style, the traditional, it's actually kind of transitional earth sounds and dirt in here. Yeah. Is that your look? Honestly, we haven't ever had new furniture or new things. Have you 
you could go out and buy one thing to go in here, what would it be? I would like to have seating for my whole family because we really enjoy being together and right now we don't all fit. Okay, <laughs> what about eating though? Because I see architecturally this is the dining room area, but there's a desk there. The desk is my dad's. I want a spot where everybody can sit down and just eat dinner together. That's really important to you? Yes. What I would love to do is see your room and maybe invite the two of you to start gathering the baby things. Okay. This way? Yeah. That way. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. How did you find this place? Oh, watch your step. <laughs> oh. Whoa. I thought Aaron's room was going to be nice and tidy. It's a hot mess. Why did I get the impression your room would be somewhat clean? <laughs> this isn't technically her room, I guess. She doesn't sleep in it. Where do you sleep now? With my mom. <laughs> I don't judge, but that does seem a little weird. Alicia and I had this great plan to get her out of my bed and into her own room. So we painted it the blue she loved. We cleaned it up in here. And that lasted maybe, what, two weeks? I love Aaron's blue sky and cloud motif, but this family needs to come down to earth. Oh, man. You said that the totes yes. were everybody's things. Yes, ma'am. So when... why did you move everybody's things into her room? Because she wasn't using it. Are you ready to be a big girl and stay in your room? Yes. Are you really? <laughs> yes. What would be your color palette? Um, I have black and white checkered pants. Okay. Kind of like these. These. Like a gingham. Mm -hmm. You're an 11 year old with an edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give you walls. I promise you no one on this planet has seen before. Mm -hmm. Wow. I want Erin's room to be so fantastic. She never sleeps with her mom again. I want you to stay in here and start working on this. And I'm so curious to see where you lay your head. Okay, let's go. I love the color on the walls. <laughs> there's Boys. no color on the wall, but there's lots of color and stuff on the floor. Wow. Yeah. Alexis. It's from a feral cat. That was my son's idea to bring the feral cat home. Well, I would love to blame all that on the feral cat, but, um, girl. <laughs> yes, the trash can. Just good and packed. Mm -hmm. I, I think we want to finish the rest of this conversation with just your mother. Can you go gather the rest of the family and meet me in the living room? Okay. I am so horrified. Nisi and the experts are witnessing this mess. You know, there's one thing missing in this room. Mm-hmm. You. I mean, I'm looking at probably hand-me-down French provincial furniture. It looks like it should be in a cheap hotel. Exactly. I mean, honestly, where are you in all this? Nowhere. Yeah. What would you like for yourself? A nice bed, a place to just decompress. What do you think has been keeping you from having this room the way you'd like it? With people moving items, more clutter has come in here. I have Aaron's totes of toys over here on the side. This dresser has stuff of Aaron's that she hasn't worn in probably six years. And you don't throw it out because? We're going to have a yard sale. One that never came. Mm. So this whole house is a big plot to have a yard sale that didn't happen. t -Wani. Do you know who can help you find yourself in the design of it all? This one. <laughs> Tell me about something you love. What I ultimately love in the whole world is the ocean and the beach. It calms me down. So is it safe to say if you could come in here and have it feel as though you've escaped to the beach. Yes, that would be so fabulous. It would be in complete service of you. Yes. As a mom and as the leader of the pack here. Yes, 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 dry your eyes. We're gonna meet the gang in the living room for a little chat. <laughs> Boom, me okay. and you. Up next, I get tough with the family. So you bought a jumbo jack flat screen. Yes. But you can't get your mama a damn dime. not to clean. Every single person has an excuse. Um, mainly our main excuse is always work or being tired. You all do know that clutter is an outward expression of an inward thing. We might have some time management issues. We say we're busier than we really are. You know what another word for that is. 
<laughs> Lazy? Oh, yes. How about that? My brother's sole job is to take out the garbage. He never does it. What Alicia's not telling you is that she does add a lot to the clutter. Truth of the matter is you know better. But the problem is that we are always trying to get rid of stuff on our own, and someone else always has feelings or sentimental attachment to it. Well, we're getting in trouble for getting rid of it. If I hear one more excuse from this family, I'm going to pull my weave out. I can handle you being mad at me, <laughs> so I'm just going to put it out there. There is some portion of this that you have probably not taken responsibility for as the leader of this whole pack. You have two able-bodied adults, and they are not present to the part that they play in all of this. I just feel really responsible to provide for them. Why? I was hoping by letting him off the hook, they were maybe saving for their future. And The one thing that you want to do for your children is prepare them to be without you. You see that? And if they're not equipped, what kind of job have you done? Bad one. If we don't clean up this mess, this could end our family relationship. You can't go nowhere in town and live rent free. How you feel about that? I feel almost like we're taking advantage of her. I'm scared to go back there and look in that room y'all sleeping in, because I don't know what you got back there. <laughs> We've got a giant TV in there. A giant flat screen. If Heather and Anthony didn't buy such extravagant things, they'd be able to help out more. So you bought a jumbo jack flat screen. Yes. But you can't get your mama a damn dime. <laughs> Nisi's been really sassy with me. Are you in a place where you can contribute financially and don't because you're not required to? And be honest. It definitely would be a struggle to. If not, Monetarily, how else can the two of you contribute? Helping around the house. <laughs> that would take a lot of pressure off of her and make her have less stress. And I'm gonna tell the two of you, because you all have a baby in the house, it's not sanitary to have the dogs going all over the floor. The two of you gotta get that figured out. Nisi's for sure kicking our lazy butts. And I want to help, but I think it would be easier if we had a chore board and mom took some leadership. power or leadership. <laughs> Your children are begging you to lead, begging you to do the thing that you think is going to put them at odds with you. There are certain things that, that these people that are living with you are going to be required to do, period and point blank. Okay. Your family needs you to show up and be present. I like that. I think Alexis is starting to get it. I see now that my adult children do need a leader. When you get back to that hotel, you really need to come up with a plan that's going to work for your family. Well, I think the chore board idea that Aaron had is a pretty good idea. I'm sure my brother thinks the chore board is a great idea to look at, and that's it. Y'all ready to get to getting? <sighs> yes. I'm keeping my eyes on you, Anthony, because I really, I am. You smile too much? I want to see what your sacrifice is going to be. Nisi, girl, you better watch yourself. You're getting a little mm, too much. Alexis. <gasps> Hi, Trish. Oh, girl. I came to you to talk to you about the Great Wall of DVDs. I've had an obsession for movies for a very long time, as you can see. Aaron. Hi. Just the woman I was looking for. I want to talk to you about having the room of a woman, which would be getting rid of stuffed animals. Does it feel good for your living room to look like this? No. So you got to help me help you, because I promise you we all have a greater plan for you. There is no way you're getting my DVDs from me. How many stuffed animals do you have? Maybe 50. 50? Are you kidding? I'm saying it's closer to 100. Make it fast and easy. I like to call it the two-minute drill. Oh, no, I can't do that. Well, well how here, am I going to put all of them in We'll use one of your magic totes. Can we try to do 10 of these? Or maybe three bigger ones? Ready? You've got two minutes. No, that's not enough time, Trish. Wait, Wait your mom? No, no. Get set. I can't. Go. Gee, <laughs> Christmas. Ooh. Girl, you just dropped a whole sack. <laughs> about five big ones. You're willing to cut down from 
a hundred stuffed animals to just five that size or smaller. Yes. You just took a big girl pill. I can let go of the rest, but I do want to keep five big ones. Oh no, I can't to have them all. No, you don't. No! I just can't do this. Ugh. 15 seconds. Let's go, Alexis. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so good! Done. These DVDs better make a lot of money. You just lightened your load. But I need, they're my escape. You know what's gonna be your escape? A clean house. That's true. Alicia, Hi. I uh, was going through this drawer and I thought I was finding baby clothes, but then these are for a dog, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, she's my baby. Matt, there's no freaking way you're getting my dog's clothes. Up next, Tears. He sits there and looks at my family using his desk. Tears. Maybe it will sell. And more tears. My first dog, the ones that I know she wore, I kept. She died in my arms. Oh. We're in for an emotional ride. You right? Yeah. You know what? I think there's a game on. Forget it. I'm gonna go in my room again. You're not gonna clean. Nope. Alicia Herrera called us cause Clutter was swallowing up her mama's home. I don't like living in this kind of mess. Partly because Mama Alexis had never stepped up to the parenting plate. I don't want to be the bossy mom that tells everyone what to do and when to do it. And because no one... And Alexis is going to sell most of her DVDs. These DVDs better make a lot of money. Even Anthony and Heather have gathered up their extra baby stuff. But now, Alicia refuses to unleash her doggy fashion. Matt, there's no freaking way you're getting my dog's clothes. Now, you have two dogs. Yes. And do they both wear doggy outfits? Yes, they do. They like to get dressed up and go by. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> they like to get dressed yes. up. What kind of dog are you raising? <laughs> do, do these outfits, it looks like a doggy slut. Like, she's just walking around, her stuff's hanging out, no. showing it to all the boys in the neighborhood. But can I keep some of them? Like... You know, she's a diva. Nisi is a diva. Yeah. Nisi has never taken a crap <laughs> on the floor of our trailer. I hope not. So I don't think your dog is a diva until she's housebroken. Can I just keep one of them? If you make a promise to me that the dog won't wear that outfit until she's housebroken. Okay. I hope you know that this is a sacrifice, but you can have the doggy clothes for the yard sale. All the outfits go out to the yard sale. You keep that one only to be worn when the dog is housebroken. Okay. Give me here a second. Yes, Mark. I want you to see exactly what I'm seeing. The biggest desk I've seen in a long time. I know. What's the story behind it? Well, my dad had this desk custom made for him. Uh, it looked like somebody attacked it. Oh yeah, the dog kind of thought it was a chew toy. Ugh. It was heartbreaking. Yeah, this is in such disrepair that my instinct is to put this out at the yard sale and look to create a Are new... Are you serious? Well, I mean, anything that's broken, why look at it every day? Because my dad is right there looking at it. I love him. I know, and that will never change. But the thing that I would love to change is how you're living. I understand, but it's my dad's death. Hey, V. Hey, how's Hi. it going? What's happening? Mark is trying to get me to get rid of my dad's desk, and he sits there and looks at my family using his desk. Tell me what your daddy would say about how you're living. Um, he would say, Alexis, you need to get it together. You need to move forward and do what you need to do to lead your family out of this cluttered mess. But I don't want to give up my desk. It's so hard to give up my dad's desk. It's been in my family for 37 years. One of the things that I cannot get past is this nasty floor I'm standing on. Well, in your room and Aaron's room and this family room, dining room area. I would love to gift that in exchange for this emotional anchor. <sighs> I know it's hard, Alexis, but you can do it. My dad always did want the best. So, okay. It's totally breaking my heart to let my dad's desk go. 
I'm proud of Alexis for making the right decision when it came to her father's desk. I think he's also proud. Yard sale diva, we've got a great yard sale. I know you're happy. I am, but then I go like this. Sad face, why? Because we're in the city of La Habra. Not that I don't love La Habra. Unfortunately, though, they don't like yard sale signs, so I can't post any signs. But they're not going to stop me. I'm going to post balloons. I'm going to go online. I'm going to make sure we get the shoppers out here. You can't stop her when she's that excited. No! I got to find balloons. Oh. Merry Christmas, Mom. I love you very much. Love, Aaron. Do I Mom. really have to give this? Mom, this is what we discussed. You have to get rid of all that stuff. Alexis is making a little progress towards getting rid of all this crap. Well, with our help. With Trisha's balloons up, this party is ready to get started. Hello. Hey, I, I was going through the Target outfits and I see some, but I thought there were a lot more that were supposed to be coming out here. Pulled some that meant a lot to me. I actually started collecting doggy clothes with my first dog. She got hit by a car and died. Okay. The ones that I know she wore, I kept. I understand that. Um, how many did you keep? Only like about five. You gotta housebreak the dog. Yeah. Okay. I will. Otherwise, I'll rub your nose in it. Oh. Okay. Gross. Right. Yeah. Yes. yard sale day and we have pried everything we could away from the Herrera family. It's price to sale and now I just got to go sell something. Mm, going in. Oh my gosh, we gotta buy these for your dog. Do it. She has three naked dogs. <laughs> Ten dollars for all of them. That sounds like a good deal. Sounds like a good deal. There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. You got anything that can match that? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. oh. I mean, this one can get wet. If you want to go to the doggy beach. How about $3? That's <laughs> I am selling, selling, selling. Ow! The yard sale is madness. It really surprised to see how many people are actually showing up here. We'll buy this for, for Maddie. And this crowd is buying everything except the mega desk. My dad's desk is way too heavy. I'm worried that it's not gonna sell today. What's worse? They're going for about $4 an outfit right now. Alicia's heading for another meltdown over her dead dog. She died in my arms. Oh, it's a little difficult to see him go away. On a brighter note, the DVDs and stuffed animals are selling like hotcakes. How much do you think we should ask for those two? Oh, $5. How did that sound, $10 That's for those two? Me. That's great. $2. Does that sound good? Perfect. Little stuffed animals for the dog. What do you think? Uh, both of them for... $4 each? Yeah. What do you think? $8? Good deal. It was hard to sell some of my stuffed animals considering I saw it go to a dog. You're saying goodbye to your child. And believe me, I'm going to do it someday and I know I'll be sad too. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on Anthony and Heather. Why? So I just want to know if they work. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Because I don't see y'all selling much. No, it looks like you, though. Party people, hey. hey. All right? I came in, worked some things out with our girl, and in exchange for that, flooring is what I'm bringing to the party. Right. Nice. And I'm repurposing Aaron's bedroom furniture. Okay, More so nice. what is the number we need to hit out here? $4,000. Really? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, just that like that. Look, see? With that? Oh, come Ooh. on. We're going to make uh -huh. that. Is this inspiring you? You look like a member of the rap pack. It's awesome. Which member? <laughs> Don't say it. D go sell something. What about this I'm one? Crazy. That will give $10. He's doing 10 for that one? Yeah. 10 for that, 20, 20 for 12. that. 15. By early afternoon, doggy clothes and DVDs are still hot tickets. Yeah, look at all the DVDs go. Can you match $15? Because I look yeah. very swap. No, I can't because I have to The most interesting dog dollars. in the world keeps it. But Mark's struggling with the toes. Lucky 13. So I was doing about $5 each. Really? Yeah. I wasn't feeling that. You weren't? I'm feeling 20. <gasps> Ooh, ouch. That's a steal. Yes, it is, and that's uh, what I'm here for. $4 an outfit. How many are you this keeping? One. No, are you keeping these? No, no I'm deciding still. Oh, we have another yeah, buyer over here. Put them down. Okay, there's okay. more. Your doggy clothes? More left. Get in here. Can you do like 45? We're still deciding on We're how still much. Deciding. Okay, well, so excuse me, how much I'm would you like shop. to pay? Here That's we go. Not we shop. We finished. This is craziness, folks. <laughs> I can sell you half of them for 20 Okay. And right now we're going $4 an outfit. So okay, unless yeah. you go more Those than that. Those are all tiny. Oh, fine. Okay. Oh, no, all $5 an outfit. 
dollars each one. Okay, no, you have to go to six now. You okay, to six dollars each one. So that's you can go to seven. Seven? Hmm. Six. Six outfits at seven. That's forty-two dollars. You got that for eighteen. Okay, okay we good? Thank you. Yeah. Woo. Who needs a doggy nap a right now, huh? A little treat. There you go. No time to nap, people. The charity truck will be here soon, and we still haven't moved the desk. It's gonna be so hard if my dad's desk ends up on the truck. I don't know how serious Heather and Anthony are taking to selling. Honestly, they haven't sold a whole lot. I'm actually feeling a little tired and hot. You all right? Yeah. I know it's not easy. You're never going to forget your dog. Okay. With that, the charity truck is here to whisk away what didn't sell. And hey, Alexa's made it all day without crying. This is Daddy's desk going on the truck. Ain't hey, that a good but when he gets to the store, maybe it will sell. Uh, well, almost. And the memories are not going on the truck. No, they're still here. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. We are all gathered together to find out how much money we made at your yard sale. How much money do you think we needed to make? Probably like $8,000. You are so close. I am. Four thousand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it, Diva. <clears throat> we made Well, and don't forget I'm going to match up to the first thousand. We made three thousand two hundred and seven. <laughs> To our new future. Speaking of your new future, when you get to getting at that hotel, you know you got work to do, leader of the pack. Yes, I already have an agenda. Yes, all right. Well, get to get. Thank, right, thank you. Have fun. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Here we come, hotel. Give me that skillet. What are you going to do? That Monterey, that cheddar. <laughs> Give it, because we're going to spend it. I'm going home. <laughs> Here we go. All I need you to do is bring me Aaron's furniture. Right on, brother man. Yeah, yeah, yo, woo! As our family meeting is called to order. Is everybody present? Yeah. Uh, I got the furniture. What do you want to do with it? Okay, so I'm thinking black and white. Well, that would explain your shoes. I am your leader, so I'm the one that made this lovely chart of cleaning chores. We're not going to be a house of slackers anymore. You understand? <laughs> Anthony, on Tuesday, you're going to be cleaning up that living room. Aaron, you're going to be doing the dishes. In this era of high def and 3D, Mark's going black and white. He's old school. Heather and I have been thinking about how we're going to contribute to the family and start budgeting actual money contribution as well as doing additional chores. And then the family promise is that we're not going to let something fester in our hearts. We're going to let each other know. Sounds good. Matt finishes the closets. Closets, boom! And Trish does her thing. <laughs> I am definitely taking what my mom says seriously. I think we've all learned from our mistakes and we're moving forward with cleaning as our goal. I think for a while we're gonna stay on top of it. Okay, we got it. <laughs> High five. But eventually we're just gonna not want to do it anymore. Furniture arrives as the new Alexis takes command. Erin's mistaken. She won't be leaving her room a mess, and none of us will go back to our cluttered mess. I hope the entire family is relaxing at the hotel because we're sweating it out here. I'm a little nervous to see what's going on at the house. By evening, Mark starts transforming Alexis's bedroom into a seaside retreat. I really trust Mark's design, but I hope it's the design that we had in our mind. <laughs> as for the Herreras, honey, they are celebrating as one big happy family. New, a new beginning. beginning. It's been a crazy roller coaster of a ride, but I definitely believe we've all come together as a family because of it. Everybody's asking, what have I done with the extra 200 bucks from the yard sale? Well, let's just say I'm gonna please one of the senses I don't often get to do. It's, ah, reveal 
whole day. So much has happened inside the house, and I know you want to see it, but you got to wait. Why? Because the family has arrived. Hey! Hey! What's happening? We're just super excited. All right, how did the homework go? Excellent. Bottom line, who's in charge? I Mom. am. Who's in charge? Mom. I love it! Okay, take one, Miss In Charge. Pass them down. Okay. Put the blindfolds on and let's go see something. All right, Erin, do you know what the term hot mess means? Nope. Girl, it's what your room was when we first got here. <laughs> Everybody, take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Oh, Ooh. my God. Oh, my God. If you want to be on Clean House or go to a Clean House yard sale, honey, log on to MyStyle.com. Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Oh, Aaron. That looks great, Aaron. You gonna make it? <laughs> oh, no. What do you think? This is cool. Is that tween for you really, really like it? Including the walls? I love the checkered pattern of my room and Mark did an awesome job decorating my room. You asked for something out of this world and you loved black and white. So I decided to put black and white quadrants on the wall and then take your furniture that had really good bones and ask my favorite go-to guy to do a little painting, wow. which really brought all of the black and white motif to life. And then of course we popped it with pink. Yes. You had a hundred stuffed animals at least and you got it down to just five, which are now in the closet. I put together a little system here for Trish to put them away. So now you have a place for everything, Missy. Nothing on the floor. If Erin doesn't keep her room clean, I am going to bring the hammer down. Are you looking forward to sleeping in here? Yes. I am going to spend lots of time in my new and the lamps and the art and especially the bedding but it's definitely your room now <laughs> oh it's beautiful look at the furniture it's gorgeous in my whole life i've never had new furniture it's so wonderful it's a first and now alexis you have a closet that matt so fantastically built out for you to house all the things that you need access to thank you so much the key to this space was designing for all the senses. Because we made extra money at the yard sale, I went ahead and picked up this fantastic device which emits the sounds of the waves. Really? And then there's an MP3 player there so you can relax to any tune you want. Oh, great. Wow. Thanks. Cool. He also it. brought the sense of the ocean in here, but before we did that, I had to get rid of some of the pet smells that uh -huh. were in here. Yes. So we not only got rid of the old carpet in there, but we treated the subfloors to make sure that nothing stayed in here. Oh, great, wow. thank you. And do you see the difference of who you were when we showed up to who you are today and how this room aligns with that? Completely, this totally fits me. The leader's room. I'm getting a little emotional about this room because it's so me. Thank you so much. All You're of you. welcome so much. Can you stand to see more? Yeah, I can't wait. Yes. When we came into this part of your home before there was a lot of finger pointing and you all have decided to pitch in and listen to the boss. Now listen to me. Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I can't even believe this. Dang. Oh, my gosh. Look, Erin has a table. Look at that. It's beautiful. As requested. Oh, oh, my dad. I love the living room and the dining room. I can't think of a single thing I would change. The living room and dining room was really designed to reconnect you guys. You wanted a place where you could sit as a family, so that's why I decided on the sectional as well as the chair, so you could actually just sit and be with each other. My favorite thing is the couch because we could all sit down and enjoy each other. You've got the fireplace, you have the desk, but also you wanted a place where you could dine. I'm excited to have a family dinner together. Are you all going to support her in that? Yes, yes, I'm gonna actually cook a couple meals. Oh, stand back. Anthony's about to contribute. What? <laughs> the only thing my brother really knows how to cook is pasta. Once I did figure out your style, which was very traditional, I went to Broyhill Furniture, and that's really where I got to pick and choose all these fantastic pieces for all of you. Thank you. They're so beautiful. Oh yeah. 
And now all your DVDs actually live below in your new armoire where you can see them. They yes. all fit? Yes. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I'd like to know, Alexis, you know, because we went down a long road with your dad's desk. Yes. Where are you at with that today in seeing the new desk? I love seeing my dad's picture on the mantle. That makes the desk not being here a little easier to take. So do you think he would approve? Definitely. He's, yeah. He's very happy right now. I am so glad because the flooring that your family has received in exchange for it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't fear for your baby anymore, Heather. I definitely feel better now. There's nothing on the floor for the baby to get into. No dog poop and no pee stain carpet. Of course, Chelsea will be okay on the floor. It's pet friendly. It is a laminate, so it's incredibly durable. Oh, wow. You made a lot of sacrifices, Alicia. You gave up a lot of those doggy outfits, but you have to do what? Make sure they don't go on the floor. If you let those dogs mess up this floor, girl, you gonna hear from me. Now, I really, <laughs> really hope you all take this as a fresh start and keep the commitment that you made at the hotel. Yeah. My mom's already threatened the kids. If the area doesn't stay clean, we can get out. It's so beautiful. We would never want to go back. Oh. Well, do you know what happens right now? No. I give you permission to cry, and then you all enjoy this, and we go home. Thank you so much, all of you. <laughs> I feel like I'm meeting you for the first time. I'm Alexis. I'm the leader of this house. Oh, yeah. I love it. Carry on, leader. Let's get to getting diesel. Yes, leader. <laughs> Aaron says that I'm going to be too soft, and I won't be able to keep my leadership role. Boy, is she wrong. Great job, people. Well, our work here is finished, and we did exactly what we came to do, and then some. For the Herrera family, baby, we cleaned house. When we showed up, this family was drowning in a sea of clutter. Well, we have got them in ship shape and a new captain to boot. So, I know what you're thinking. Ooh, Miss Niecy, what about me and my clutter? Baby, the magic only happens one family at a time. Ooh. I love these. Look. This is so beautiful. My favorite thing in the room is all the beach accessories everywhere. Look at this table. It's awesome. So awesome. There's seats for everyone. And a mirror. Now that the clutter is gone, we can come together as a family and never go back to that cluttered mess. Thank you, Queen!